Hello, can you hear me? It's Robert here. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I've just... Are you, are you OK? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Are you OK, Robert? Is, yeah. is, my, is, it, is the phone line a bit dodgy? Um, yes, either that or maybe my phone is giving me a few problems. I don't know why, oh. but... Uh, Right. Anyway, it seems okay now. Okay. So, um, Robert, do you live in Hull? Uh, no, no, I live to the west of you. Oh, right. So, did you receive one of our letters then? Yes, I received a letter about a year ago. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, and um, did it have our phone number on it then? And no, oh, there was no. On, did you go online? No, there was no phone number. I I went online to jw.org find a meeting. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Okay. I'm. So, I'd heard that you you'd said that you'd got our book, Enjoy Life Forever. Yes, and I've also been doing reading online. Chapter yeah. thirty-two mentions the nineteen fourteen date, and online, um, in a watchtower of the fifteenth of. July 2013 there's a little box at the top of page 22 it says that in 1919 a faithful and discreet slave was chosen so I'm I'm curious about those two dates 1914 and 1919 is there any biblical yeah. proof for this because there's lots and lots of religious groups Mormons Christadelphians Seventh-day Adventists the Way International various Pentecostal groups who are going around reading themselves into the Bible and saying God has chosen us, we're his sole representative. And of course the yeah. original group that taught that were, were the Catholics. Yeah. You know, they, they claim that God chose them as the sole spokesperson, spokes, spokesman on earth to, to speak on God's behalf with the Pope being the successor of St. Peter. So there's lots yeah. of groups who read themselves into the Bible. I just want to know what evidence or proof do you have for the 1914 and 1919 dates? Thank you. Well, there's lots of evidence. Could I ask what, what religion you are? Um, well, I hold to a, a Bible view. I guess you could call me a fundamentalist. I used to yeah. attend an evangelical church. I no longer have anything to do with them at all. So you're from an evangelical background? Yes. And all I right. still believe the Bible to be the word of God. I just don't trust preacher boys driving around in Mercedes demanding their tithe every week. And I don't oh, want anything no. to do with no, it. Well, we don't do that. Um, we certainly don't do that. Um, well, I c if you've got... Have you got the the book there? I, or can you access the Enjoy Life Forever book? <clears throat> yes. It's, it, but I, 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 must, I, I, I must get to the point. It's the 1914 and the 1919 dates that I'm interested in. I'm, I'm not really yeah. interested in anything else. Right. But what... Did you not look at the page... Where is it? Page 132... And it gives the Bible chronology to 1914. Um, are you talking about the seven times of Daniel 4.16? Yeah. Well, yeah. It, 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 it's reference to King Nebuchadnezzar. It's, it's not some Bible prophecy, surely. This is what right. the Mormons do. This is what the Seventh-day Adventists do. This is what the extreme Pentecostals do. This is what the Way International does. They just read themselves into the Bible and read that, you know, yeah. this, this, this passage of the Bible, if you isolate it and you just yeah. look at two lines, this is about us. We've been chosen by God. Um, well, well, you haven't really read it then, have you? Daniel 7.16, this is about King Nebuchadnezzar. Let his heart be changed from that of a man. Let him be, let him be given the heart of an animal and let seven times pass over him. So yeah. it's it's referent to King Nebuchadnezzar. And right, God's... in the initial fulfilment. I beg your pardon? In the initial fulfilment, it referred to Nebuchadnezzar, yeah. Well, the, 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 but, it's... But, but if you look at verse... If you've got your Bible there, verse, chapter 4... Yeah. It mentions... It says about that. Um, let me see where it is. You talk about verse 32, which also mentions seven times. Yeah. Just 
let me just give me a minute to find it. But it's referent to King Nebuchadnezzar. It it has no other fulfilment. If you see multiple fulfilments in the Bible, I'll, I'll find it in a minute. But it, it says it says about him eating vegetation. Yeah, I've just um, I've just told you the verse. It's verse thirty two, Daniel four thirty two, and yeah. they shall drive you from men. That's King Nebuchadnezzar. And your yeah. dwelling, that's King Nebuchadnezzar, shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make you eat grass like oxen, and seven times shall pass over you until you know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men, and he gives it to whomever he chooses. Yeah. In verse 25, it mentions about, um, it says, And you will become wet in the dew of the heavens, and seven times will pass over you until you know that the Most High is ruler in the kingdom of mankind. So obviously he was talking to Nebuchadnezzar there. So his, his period of madness, when he came out of that, he wouldn't recognise that God was ruler uh, in mankind and he gives it to whoever he wants to. How on earth does this relate to the year 1914? Because I'm trying to find the verse was the, the larger fulfilment. He didn't say Nebuchadnezzar said that people living may know that you are the most high over all the earth. People living, not Nebuchadnezzar, people living would know that the most high is ruler. Don't you think that seven times simply refers to seven seasons in Babylon? They didn't really notice spring and autumn in Babylon because it was so hot. So they had two seasons. It was warm or hot in winter, and it was boiling, baking hot in summer. So those were the two seasons. Seven times could refer to seven days, seven yeah, weeks, seven... seven could seven I times. just finish? It's, could a, biblical, could I it's just, a biblical, biblical number. If you look at Revelation... Could I just finish? mentions my, three and a half times as being 1,260 days. So seven times must be 5, 2,520 days. Um... The scholar Rendell Harris has pointed out that they had two seasons that they recognised in Babylon. So it's likely that seven times just refers to these Babylonian seasons because it was so hot there they never noticed spring or autumn. So seven times probably refers to three and a half years. That would be my interpretation of this verse. It's got nothing to do with 1,220 years. And if you, if you start yeah, if you in the old... If you look at Revelation chapter 12... Could we? It could be three and a half times. So seven, seven times is, the, you know, if you let the, you've got, what we do is we let the Bible interpret itself. We know what, if it says seven times, with the logical question is what is a time? Seasons, a Babylonian season. So what would that be? It would be what, three and a half what, years. Seven times half a year is three and a half years. That's probably the time that, that Nebuchadnezzar was, was cursed. It certainly doesn't refer to 2,520 years. The guy who came up with that idea was a crazy clergyman called the Reverend John Aquila Brown. In the year 1823, he first postulated this idea that seven times means 2,520 years in a magazine or a book called The Eventide. I think it was a book. Can I, can I just... Well, I'm not interested in what what other scholars have said. We're, we're having a biblical discussion, aren't we? But that's men, where you get can, it from. Men, men can be wrong, can't they? But the Bible is infallible. But the Bible doesn't say 2,520 years. It does. If you look at Revelation 12, it says three and a half times is 1,260 years. Well, you so need to be precise. Half, seven, seven times is... Obviously, double that. Uh, you need to read read the verse. Revelation twelve. Yeah. Verse six. It said the woman fled into the wilderness, where she was placed, where where she had a place prepared by God, and where they would feed her for one thousand two hundred and sixty days. Then verse twelve, and fourteen. But the two wings of the great eagle were given to the woman so that she might fly into the wilderness to her place where she is to be fed for a time, 
and times and half a time away from the face of the serpent. Mm -hmm. Well, so 1,260 1, days is three and a half years. Three and a half times. So what would seven times be? Um, 1,260 days is three and yeah. a half years. As, as far as I understand, it does say in Revelation twelve fourteen, time, which is one, times, which is two, and half a time, which would be three and a half. Yeah. But I, I don't see how the seven times of Daniel can imply 2,520 years when this idea was invented by a clergyman called the Reverend John Aquila Brown in 1823. It was taken up by William Miller, who, who, who used it to come up with the second coming of Christ for 1843. When that didn't happen, he looked at his figures again. He realized there's no year zero. There's only one year between 1 AD and 1 BC, not two. So he then extended yeah, his is, calculations to 1844. Evidence. This is not the only evidence. What I'm saying well, is... If looking at the Bible as a whole, if you look at Revelation 6... Yeah, can, can we just go more slowly, if that's possible? Because I'm trying to think about this. The Jehovah's yeah. Witnesses, as I understand, take yeah, your, yeah, take your pro I, prophecy calculations from William Miller. And William Miller got his prophecy from calculations from... The, you, you interrupt all the time. I can't have a conversation. It, yeah, but you're quoting 18... I'm talking about Bible's prophecy. All you're quoting to me is Miller and other scholars were the, the men. You, but then why are you following the them? Why are you following yeah. them? I'm not following the men. I'm following the Bible. The Bible doesn't say 2,520 2, years. That idea was invented by the Reverend John Aquila Brown. It was taken up by William Miller of the Adventists. And eventually oh. through other people, it came to pass to Russell. Well, what, in, are, you, are you familiar with the, the Bible? Well, I've been Matthew able... twenty four, um, the prophecy of the conclusion of the system of things. Okay, what do you, where do you want me to go in that? Verse seven. Well, what? verse three first of all, then verse seven. Well, you you read it. You make your point. Yeah, you read it. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, this is 24.3, the disciples came yep. to him privately saying, tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? They actually asked yep. him four questions, but Matthew groups things in three. You'll find the other question yep. in Mark. What, what, again, again, I'm, I'm in the I'm middle of a sentence and you're not listening. You're not having a dialogue. Matthew, Matthew records things in threes. The disciples yeah. asked Jesus four questions. You'll find the fourth question in Mark 13, 4. Well, what does it say in verse 7? Because Jesus said a sign, not signs, a sign of that he would be ruling. For nation, this is verse 7, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah. So what happened in 1914? Well, there was a war. Nothing. Nothing happened in 1914. World War, famine, disease. Do you think that fulfills that, that verse? No, no. Um, you're misinterpreting Matthew 24. The first sign that Jesus warns about mm. is not wars and rumours of wars and famines and earthquakes. The first sign is false prophets and people yeah. saying that they are the Christ, meaning the anointed, yeah. and they're going to deceive many. So if you read Which verse 4 been. and if you, read, been, if you read verse 4 and 5, this is the first yeah. sign of Jesus' um, return. And Jesus yeah. answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. That's the first sign, religious yeah. deception. As for the yeah. First World War, there were four other wars where more people were killed than in the First World War. The most the most deaths, of course, came in the Second World War, but there have been yeah, several other wars, the, including... Again, I'm in the middle of a agree. sentence. I, I mean, uh, could, we have a World War <laughs> could we have it a conversation? Could we have a conversation? It was a world war. Could we have a conversation? Please, would you, would you, would you listen to me? Or are you just well, going to preach? I, I think I know where you're coming from. You're not really interested in Jehovah's Witnesses' beliefs. You're just wanting to tear them down. 
Well, are so the Jehovah's any, there's, there's, no, there's no point in continuing, is there? Are the Jehovah's Witness beliefs true? Well, I think they are. Well, then I'm not going to be able to tear them down, am I? Because if they're well, true, if it's the truth of Jehovah yeah, God, no matter what yeah. I do, I cannot tear them down. But you're trying to. <laughs> no, I'm trying to ask you to prove your 1914 and your 1919 yeah. dates. Yeah. You believe, and now get, get me, correct me if I'm wrong, um, in, in verse 34, Matthew 24, verse 34, the generation there is the generation that saw 1914, which you now yeah. teach as an overlapping generation. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation, meaning the one that yeah. saw 1914, it's all right, it's all right, Robert. will by no means pass away from. to all these You're things You're not interested in, in, in beliefs at all. These are all apostate ideas. Well, I'm quoting your literature to you. I'm quoting your beliefs. So yeah, are you saying that your beliefs are apostate? You're pulling out the scriptures that you, you think, well... The, the wrong there or no i'm asking you could you what does this generation mean in matthew 24 34 well let me just ask you a question matthew 24 14 which religious group are doing that work today everyone claims they're doing it the mormons say who else is teaching mormon doctrine no 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 the mormons aren't. excuse, excuse me let kingdom, me finish my sentence god. according the to the mormons god. The Mormons don't teach Jehovah's Witness doctrine. Jehovah's Witnesses teach Jehovah's Witness doctrine. Yeah. But the Mormons but apply... Could you let me please finish my sentence, man? According to the Mormons, the truth is Mormon doctrine. There are actually 120 different Mormon sects. Who are the only people teaching the truth of Mormon doctrine in the world and going door to door, teaching people through Bible studies the truth of Mormon doctrine? According to the Mormons, it's them. According to the Seventh Day Adventist, this verse no, just applies a minute, just to them. A minute, Robert, Robert, I've, Matthew twenty four fourteen. I've asked you who is doing that work today. Christians, Christians who who believe in Jesus. Who, who is preaching what, about the kingdom of God? Christians, the established kingdom of God. I've just told you. I, nobody's ever called on my door. But I, that's to not, me about the that kingdom got of to God. Do with me? I don't even go to a church. Well, that's what I mean. The kingdom of God is being preached earth wide now. By Jehovah's Witnesses? No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. You don't. You don't teach in China. You don't teach in North Korea. You don't teach in India. How do you know? Because your yearly, your yearbook of Jehovah's Witnesses ah, have, but won't have put everything almost, in there, would we? In a country like China, that it, work is done. Anyway, that's by the by. How, how does the word "this generation" apply to 1914 in Matthew 24:34? Adam. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled. This generation, what is, the, what is that referring to? Well, you know that, don't you? Because you've probably looked into it. But anyway, um, just look at Daniel chapter 2, the image. You, you keep does, telling me to do the things all the time. the feet of the image? You keep telling me to do things all the time, but you don't respond mm. to anything that I say. The generation that saw 1914 is all dead. They, they would be 108 years old now. We're living in the year 2022. It's 108 years after 1914. That generation is dead. So if this applies to 1914, it's a false prophecy. Well, well, just, just look at Daniel 2, the that chapter. Read it. Where does, oh, you want where me does to the read kingdom chapters strike now? the image? Where does God's kingdom kingdom strike the image? Uh, it's not God's kingdom. It's 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 Christ. Christ is it's the God's, rock. <laughs> um, it's God's kingdom that strikes the feet of the image. It's not at the top. It's at the bottom of the feet. What is the meaning of the word generation in Matthew twenty four thirty four? I don't know, but um, I suppose it's a generation is hard to distinguish, isn't it? What is a generation? You used to publish in the Watchtower, every single Watchtower, the, the inside cover would say the generation that saw 1914 how, how do you know that? by no means pass away. How did you know that? Well, I, I've got copies of these Watchtower. I've got some yeah. of the brown volumes. Yeah. 
So you've, you've read our articles and things for so yeah. many years. Yeah, and then in 1995, <laughs> 31 years, uh, sorry, 81 years after 1914, you changed the generation to a wicked generation because it was a false prophecy. The generation that saw 1914 were not going to see Christ's return. They're not going to see Armageddon. It was a false prophecy. So now you have so, an overlapping generation. Do you not believe this is the time of Jesus' return? I, I think it's still future. Uh, how far in the future, I honestly don't know. So you do believe he's coming, he's going to return? Yes. And how will he return? You keep asking questions, but you don't answer any question about your own belief. He's going to come literally, physically and bodily to this earth. Well, I could explain it to you, but I don't think you would accept it. So, it, it, you know, it's by the by. You're picking out one one thing and, uh, you know, you probably know what the um, the teaching is on the generation now. I don't have to tell you that. You probably know what 1919 is. How do you so, get from 1914 to 1919? Well, you probably know that as well, about our teachings. And uh, do you know that? Yeah, I know that. Okay. So how do you get from 1914 to 1919? Well, I would, I would say to go on to jw.org and look at Bible questions yeah, answered. Of course you would. That's why so and, many Jehovah's Witnesses can't discuss the Bible now. No, you're not used to discussing the Bible. You just point people <laughs> to jw.org because you don't even know your own doctrines yourself. It's in Revelation 11, you take the 1,260 days to be days, not years, meaning three and a half years. So that takes you from October 1914, three and a half years, yeah. into the early part of 1918. Right? No, it's not that at all. Then you take, that's, that's Revelation 11, 3. And I will give power to my two witnesses and they will prophesy 1,260 days clothed in sackcloth. Yeah. So that's, that's three and a half years. That takes you from um, 1914 to the early part of 1918. Then you go down and it talks about two witnesses being killed and their dead bodies will lie in the street of um, the city, yeah. which is obviously Jerusalem, th for three days. So I'll read yeah. from verse 7. Now when they finish their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them and overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Yeah. So the three days is taken figuratively or spiritually to mean roughly about nine months. So you add right. three and a half years, nine months together, and you get from October 1914 um, up to the early part of 1919 when you believe that God chose a faithful and discreet slave. Oh, you're good, aren't you? <laughs> Spot on. So you don't need me to, you don't need me, do you? You've got it all worked out yourself. But it's ridiculous, isn't it? Well, that's where the conversation ends now then, doesn't it? Because that's, I didn't want a, a conversation like this where it's, you're poo-pooing what I believe in. But there is no... So you're not, you're not really interested in finding ans biblical answers, you just want to tear me down. But how can you take Revelation 11.3 literally the 1,260 days are literal days, not years. You take that literally. But then the three days of Revelation 11, 8, you take that spiritually to mean nine months. I mean, this is just jiggery-pokery where people are just... I mean, I, I'm not trying to be nasty or rude, but you're just reading this stuff into the Bible, surely. Can't, can't you see that? No, I can't. I can't see that because you've just... Pl picked out a couple of things what about um the trinity and um the immortal soul judgment day and all these wonderful truths that are in the bible that you've obviously just skipped over and concentrated on something like that well would you wish to talk to me again on zoom about one no, of those topics just one no. no i mean you claim and, and look am i right about this 
Jehovah's Witnesses claim that Jesus did an inspection and a cleansing work between 1914 and 1919. He cleansed the society. He chose it as his sole representative to represent him, appointing a faithful and discreet slave in the year 1919. Have I got that right? Yeah. But, but in 1919, you taught that Jesus Christ became the Almighty God at his resurrection. No, we never taught that. That's in Berean Bible Teachers Notes, page 454. And it's taught well, in the finished, taught that Jesus it's also is taught in the finished God. it's also taught in the finished mystery. I've got a copy of the finished mystery, published in so, nineteen seventeen on page Robert, fifteen and just, page two fifty. Let me just ask you a question, Robert. Yeah. You're obviously spending a lot of time trying to get in touch with witnesses. Is 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 this your ministry? Yes. You're trying to turn witnesses away from their beliefs. Well, I, I just ask questions, and then I'm quite surprised that Jehovah's Witnesses can't answer. Uh, any 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 questions look if Jesus chose the Watchtower Society in 1919 why did they teach at the time that Jesus Christ became Almighty God at his resurrection Berean Bible teachers notes page 454 they also taught that black people had the curse of Cain upon them and that they were um, no, that, a race that's, of people that's Mormons. You're wrong there, that's Mormons. I'm I'm reading the Golden Age, twenty fourth of July, nineteen twenty nine, page well, seven hundred and two, and it well, says that around, they I they were a race there. of servants. I want, around, I want around then. Because of this curse of Cain, they were a race of servants. But why would Jesus choose such a racist organization, teaching such utter blasphemies? Jesus because Christ. Because the, they were humble enough to change what they believed according to the scriptures, but they didn't believe. They no longer would believe in the Trinity or hellfire, things like that. Rutherford preached a sermon in 1918, which was printed well, as a I book in 1920. That, Millions now living light, will never die. The light gets brighter. He, d d we're, prog we're a progressive people. We, we look at the Bible every day. There's no verse that says light gets brighter. Could you please show me a verse that says light gets brighter? Yeah, yeah of course I will. Which verse in the Bible says that? And don't go to Proverbs 4.18 because it says the path of the righteous is illuminated more. Yeah, well, that's It's the same not thing, light it? that gets brighter and brighter. You paraphrase the verse so much, you're just, you, you're just reading, reading well, stuff into it. What does it say it? in the Psalms about God's word is a light to your path? Yes, but it doesn't say light gets brighter and brighter. This is just made up. No, it, it isn't. This is what I, happens I can, to I religion. I loads of things where the truth the truths that the, what once were believed have changed as as according to reveal scripture rutherford in the year 1919 was teaching <laughs> that well, that I'm, you're going back to Nancy abraham Nancy. isaac and this Jacob. is 2022 yes but you still teach that jehovah's witness faithful and discreet slave was chosen in the year 1919 that's either true or it's false yeah, it is true. Anyway, I'm going to end this conversation. Rutherford um, taught thank, that Abraham, time, Isaac Robert. and Jacob would thanks rise from time. the dead in 1925. He said that in the Millions book, page 88. And that's Hull, Southcote.